Hello everyone, uh, welcome to today's meeting. Uh, I'm Dong Wang from China Telecom, and uh, the presentation is uh, Cloud Native Convert by Cloud ne uh, Network uh, Operating System, uh, the, uh, which is the uh, which is the current uh, uh, case treated of China Telecom. Okay, uh, so I will give an uh, introduction about three parts. Uh, the first part is uh, China, uh, the China Telecom's uh, uh, cloud network um, convert strategy. And the second part uh, we give a uh, main solution, uh, which is the target architecture of the cloud network operating system. And the third part I uh, will give the open source practice uh, towards the uh, uh, cloud network operating system, uh, which lead by China Telecom in online, which leads the intent driving close to autonomous networks. Uh, so China Telecom actively uh, build digital information infrastructure and take cloud network convert as a community strategy. The, the cloud network convert uh, in, uh, include uh, their most um, including three stages. The first is currently we focus on the cloud network coll collaboration, and the second stage it will be the cloud oriented world. Um, um, and the third part, uh, the third stage will be the multi factor integration, uh, which including all of the uh, network factors, including the uh, data center, network computing power, cloud, big data, AI security, and green. Okay. Uh, there are six uh, key technologies to solve this problem. The first one is a uh, cloud network uh, conversion. Uh, and se second is a uh, uh, ubiquitous high speed connections, uh, which will strengthen uh, infrastructure such, such as 5G, uh, fiber optic, and uh, barriers networks. The third one is uh, integration of the uh, space, air, land, and sea, uh, where the uh, satellite will be a uh, main part of the future networks. And also the smart and uh, hydro uh, development of the network, as well as the uh, green and the low carbon requirements and the security and the control uh, controllability uh, requirements. Uh, currently, uh, the cloud uh, cloud network convert is driven by the diamonds of of the the customers. The network connectivity is one of the basic requirements. And with a host of industries uh, going to the cloud, uh, more customers are putting forward the demand for a system, a system features uh, integrated supply. Uh, here we provide two, uh, provide two use cases of China Telecom. The first one is a, a hybrid cloud, uh, which we uh, use a flex uh, network. And the second one is a cloud engine. Uh, Cloud and engine connect uh, collaborations uh, based based on the five G networks. Uh, they are uh, they are there are some uh, main uh, challenges to solve those problems. The first one is uh, cloud network resource collaboration, as well as uh, uh, elastic uh, scalability and the automate automatic the connections across domain uh, open different uh, different uh, uh, service cap uh, capabilities as well as uh, uh, cross domain disaster recover and uh, backup. Uh, uh, there are still some uh, gaps uh, to uh, solve these problems uh, due to the independence of cloud and networks. It's difficult to provide network, uh, cloud network service uh, which uh, in created, uh, integrated uh, the supply, integrated operation. Uh, integrated service and integrated security. Uh, this uh, supply side of the cloud and network uh, digital capabilities uh, will need further inno innovation. So there are four main gaps uh, which we need now. The first one is uh, a low efficiency of cloud network server service delivery. And uh, second is a uh, high cost of cloud network uh, business department, uh, as well as the low level of cloud network operating intelligence. 
and uh, the great challenges uh, concerning cloud network security. Uh, so, uh, in order to solve those problems, uh, Chen Telecom, uh, we propose the uh, architecture of the cloud. Uh, we propose the cloud network operating system, uh, where I will uh, give an uh, introduction about the target architecture. So, uh, the cloud network operating system, it refers to the system level common software platform that manages all kinds of heterogeneous uh, cloud networks, hardware and so uh, software resources and provide the public service for cloud network services and applications. Uh, it, uh, uh, the purpose have four um, parts. The first one is provide a flexible, uh, flexible trustworthy and hardware in, uh, independent uh, business development and operation environment. The second is realize the unified management uh, of operation and maintenance of the hardware and software resources for cloud network integration. The third one is uh, shared the physical hardware uh, devices and the uh, underlying different infrastructure, uh, inf uh, infrastructures of the cloud network and abstract them into the generalized service. The last one, uh, we will need to support the agile development, on demand development, and the dynamic operations of business and the applications. Uh, here is the target architecture, uh, which uh, we uh, which is uh, we we write the computer operating system. We provide four layers, including the endogenous uh, service layer, uh, which including the network intelligent intelligent okay orchestrator and the management, and also the service uh, system service layers, the abstract layer and the infrastructure layers. So based on uh, this architecture, uh, we will uh, provide the service for the application uh, in Amber and the internal operators for the cloud network industry. And we can uh, also provide service to the managers and the schedulers of the cloud network resource, as well as realize the abstract and uh, encapsulate in solution of the resource of the cloud network and, and endpoints. So uh, as part of the cloud network operating system, uh, my team can't uh, focus on the open source development based on ONAV, uh, which uh, we need the use case of the intent driven closed loop autonomous networks. Uh, based on uh, currently uh, as a uh, open source uh, automation, uh, network auto automation platform, ONAP have already provided a closed loop uh, for a uh, closed loop of the, auto of the autonomous networks. They are in the service orchestrators. It can configure the networks based on the controllers and uh, the controllers uh, could get the, the real-time uh, data, could collect the real-time data of the networks, and the DCE uh, could uh, analyze the data and provide the event service. Uh, based on policies, uh, we will be able to get the closed loop. So ours is, uh, is based on the current uh, autonomous service of the ONAP. We provide an uh, intent interaction closed loop. Uh, where the users could input uh, the uh, the intents uh, by uh, out, uh, by uh, nature language, and we can have to serve, uh, to create a new service. Also, the users uh, could keep updated the intent based on the real time requirements, as well are based on the feedback of the network uh, from the monitoring uh, function of the in use case UI. So. Uh, in AI, we can save, uh, we can manage the user's real-time intents based on the intent instance, and the uh, DCE could keep this in, in user's real-time intent. Uh, based on the uh, 
preliminary uh, releases uh, in ONAF, uh, we have uh, proposed uh, four requirements to uh, to uh, uh, towards uh, this architecture, and uh, uh, we have already finished the internal translation function uh, in Honolulu in Honolulu release, and uh, in in Stable release uh, we. We have worked on the uh, the intent uh, management function based on intent instance in AI, and uh, in Jakarta uh, release, uh, we uh, we have provided the intent guarantee clause based on the current use cases of ONAV uh, as well uh, as we provide a proposal of the network service without per perception for users. Uh, functions uh, based on internet-based networking. Uh, in next release, uh, we will uh, provide a uh, uh, full uh, architecture and the uh, demo of the internet driving closed loop autonomous networks. Uh, based on our contributions uh, in all uh, we have also provided uh, multiple outputs uh, to multiple SDO as uh, including in TSSM and I, uh, ITOT. In TSSM, we have, pro uh, we have passed a proposal of, of POC uh, 03, is automation of intent-based uh, cloudless LAN service. And in ITOT, uh, our, 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 uh, our team in Chantacom uh, have also lead the standardization works uh, in, uh, of intent-based networking, uh, including the three uh, standards of the requirements, the architectures, and also the signaling uh, of the internet-based networking. Uh, we are also concerned on the col collaborations among academics, SDOS, uh, based on our words in ONAV. Um, uh, here uh, it shows the, uh, the multi-SDOS uh, multi uh, collaborations among about 10 uh, uh, organizations, uh, including ONAP as an open source community and other uh, sanitation organizations as we are at HPE, which uh, we concern is meant as an uh, academic uh, organization. So uh, we have uh, cooperated with uh, multiple university, university who research university teams who research on the intensive networking as well as autonomous networks and uh, we are trying to provide ONAP as a common uh, platform for the academic research, as well as uh, that we have cooperated uh, uh, with multiple uh, sanitation organizations, and we have uh, many meetings uh, with them. Um, also, we, uh, I mentioned that we have given the output to ETSI as well as ITOT. Uh, in the in current works and the further stage uh, work, uh, we are concerned on enable AI machine learning ability for intent driving close autonomous networks in ONAP. Currently, uh, we have already provided a uh, natural language processing microservice in UUI. And uh, in further step, we were most concerned on enhance AI ability in DCAE, uh, which we will we'll be able to provides the uh, prediction and the de decision-making algorithms uh, 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 for the network. Uh, also, currently, uh, our works are based on TensorFlow uh, frameworks, and the first works we were also concerned on um, um, PyTorch. Uh, moreover, uh, in further stage, uh, we may concern the uh, integrated atomers AI uh, into uh, the smart service of ONAP. Uh, there is also another project uh, uh, owned by Linux Foundation. Uh, here we provide a workflow of the internal driving into e slicing use case. Uh, uh, as shown in the red part, it's a uh, uh, closed loop. Uh, it's a close of our E2E slicing, uh, which is, is uh, derived by the E2E slicing team, where uh, the, 5G, uh, the DCE uh, could collect the FM uh, and PM data from uh, the 5G networks. And uh, based on the analysis result, it will trigger uh, the, uh, the OF or policy to update uh, the uh, E2E slicing parameters of uh, the slicing instance. And the SO will uh, configure networks by action to uh, 
uh, trigger the dominant controllers. So our work is to provide a close of interaction between the users and the autonomous networks, where the users could create a new service, uh, update his intent, and uh, we can save the user's real-time intent into the intent instance saved in AI. And this AI uh, could listen in the user's updated intent. Uh, moreover, the this AI uh, will also uh, provide the KPI monitor um, based on the 5D sizing KPI. So we also support uh, the CCAPN use case uh, where we have already proposed uh, uh, proposal um, uh, in ZSM, which is automation of intent-based cloud design service. Uh, this work is develop, developed in uh, based on ONAP and its implementation complies with the SM standards. This, uh, this uh, POC uh, reference uh, 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 multiple sensations in the SM, including the, uh, uh, the management service, uh, cross domain orchestration, uh, as well as the closed loop and internet based networking. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, this work is a real uh, example uh, between uh, ONAP as open source uh, platform and the sensation organizations uh, uh, ZSI. Uh, so this work will be done in this year. So based on the previous uh, two use cases, uh, which mentioned that uh, 5G sizing and the CCVPN, uh, we provide this proposal um, to provide the network services with out percep uh, perception for users. Um, it means that the users could input the requirement by natural language and we can translate into the uh, configurations of the network and provide a, a most suitable uh, service for the users, either the e 2 sizing or the 5G uh, mobile network e 2 sizing or the CCVPN uh, with the flex network. Uh, in China Telecom, uh, currently we have already provided the service of the 5G this LAN as well as uh, 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 as well as a cloud this LAN. So the users, uh, the user normally could choose both of the two services, and we can uh, in the future networks we can provide a better. Uh, uh, selections, uh, selection for the users uh, uh, based on the uh, real-time uh, uh, requirements uh, and their services. So uh, here we provide an uh, application sense uh, which, uh, which is we focus on the smart engine. Uh, it's true for the end-to-end -end test and demo of the intent driven on diamond services based on the flex uh, network and mobile networks, uh, where we, uh, we use the internet driving network uh, to uh, support uh, the two main use cases in ONAP. Uh, this work uh, we will done in next release of ONAP. Uh, in the end, uh, we, uh, based on our work in recent uh, releases in ONAP, uh, we have real good influence that uh, in ONAP marketing priorities 2021, uh, where the Intent-based networking uh, use case is common as a major step towards autonomous networks for the operators and enterprise use cases. And in uh, in cyber uh, release, uh, the intent-based networking is a key feature of in the release highlights. Also, uh, I have given a keynote in the various uh, various network automation ways uh, represent channel. Uh, regret can telecom as we are as the ONAP uh, community. And uh, we also have a panel discussion uh, with multiple um, sensations, uh, sensation organizations, uh, which, uh, which is organized uh, by uh, HB NetSoft, it's an uh, intended networking workshop. Okay, so those are the works that we have already done. And in, uh, in that stage, uh, we were concerned on the works of the intent driving networks, uh, which is part of the uh, cloud, uh, cloud network operating, uh, op operating system of Chen Telecom. And we will continue the cooperations with the Linux Foundation. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, you know, I, I was just thinking that less than a year ago, uh, okay. you know, we, we, we had heard from you that you would be proposing intent based and all of a sudden, it's not only there, but it is kind of in the code you're working, the community is aligning behind you. So we're really excited and happy to see progress. Um, and, exactly. and really, thank you. Thank you very much for the contribution and great presentation. Thank you. Okay. All right.